All right, I'm going to go ahead and kick things off and we'll and others can join us as we get going. But um, welcome to another edition of the state uh, statewide workforce training. This is brought to you by the Nebraska Workforce Development Board and the System Alignment Committee. These uh, monthly training sessions are awesome because we get to learn about um, so many of our partner programs with workforce development. And so um, today we've got a good one. We're going to be talking about the Community Services Block Grant Program. Um, Jody Easter, who usually hosts these events, is, is unable to be here today due to the Greater Nebraska um, Workforce Board meeting. But I'm Stan Odenthal, happy to be uh, hosting today. And we've got Jill, Jill Giles from um, the Department of Health and Human Services, the CSBG uh, Program Specialist, to talk about the program. But before we jump into that, Let's uh, launch those same poll questions that we do on a pretty regular basis with these uh, events. So the first one is gonna be, how familiar are you with this program, with the Community Services Block Grant Program? So on a scale of one through five, one being that you know nothing about the program and five being that you're an expert. Okay, ending the poll right now. And this is interesting. Okay, so I think this is like the lowest scoring one that we've had so far. I think uh, most programs that we we highlight, you know, a, a lot of folks are kind of in that three to four range. The highest anybody answered was a three today, and most people are in that one or two category. So a brand new program to a lot of people that are attending or, you know, good opportunity to learn more about this program. Um, so one more question for you. Uh, local area. Um, which local area do you represent or do you serve? So Greater Lincoln with Lancaster and Saunders, Greater Omaha with Douglas RP and Washington counties, or Greater Nebraska with those uh, remaining 88 counties. Or if you're with one of the statewide programs, please mention that. So there's two options for that at the bottom, one that you represent the whole state or that you represent um, not the entire state, but across a couple local area boundaries. So figure out which category is best for you um, and uh, answer accordingly. So looks like um, got a lot of people from greater Nebraska today. So uh, big high five to everyone in attendance. Um, thank you for being here no matter where you're at. Um, gonna learn a lot together. So one of the things I wanted to highlight is we're going to be taking questions through or uh, at the end of the presentation today. So there's, uh, but feel free to ask the questions at any time during the presentation. We'll just hold off on answering those questions until the very end. But you can ask your questions three different ways. You can um, put it, the question into the chat at the bottom of your screen. There's also a Q&A button that you can hit. Um, that's probably the best and easiest way to, to ask questions. And then the third way is if um, you've got a really complicated question, you can hit that uh, button that says raise hand and we can put you, um, we can take you off of mute and, and uh, let you join us via video um, to ask your complicated question if you've got one. So uh, feel free to ask those questions as we go. But again, we'll, we'll wait until the end to, uh, to answer those questions. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Jill and uh, thank you for joining us and uh, go ahead and take it away. Great, thank you. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay. All right, uh, good afternoon. My name is uh, Jill Giles, as he said. Um, I serve as the Community Services Block Grant Program Specialist um, for the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services. And that is housed, um, uh, I'm housed, I guess, under the Division of Children and Family Services. And then our unit is Economic Assistance, which uh, is also where programs like food stamps, um, uh, TANF, childcare, uh, energy assistance, those types of programs are. So, but I'm here today to provide an overview of CSBG in Nebraska, which I think I said is Community Services Block Grant. The Community Action Program, or also known as CAP, originated under former President Lyndon B. Johnson's administration uh, through CAP, 
public agencies and private nonprofits called community action agencies, for short, we call them CAAs, were formed to promote self-sufficiency and respond to immediate social and economic needs within their communities. In 1981, CAP and several other funding streams were consolidated into the Community Services Block Grant, or CSBG, and then reauthorized in 1998. The National CSBG Network includes federal partners, state, territory, and tribal grantees, CSBG eligible entities, state community action associations, and national partner associations. CSBG is administered federally by the Office of Community Services, or OCS, within the Administration for F Children and Families, ACF, the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS. CSBG funding is distributed to CSBG eligible entities, which are most commonly those community action agencies or CAAs. Membership associations such as the state community action associations and national membership associations assist in supporting the CSBG network as well. <clears throat> as per the CSBG Act, uh, which is um, 42 U.S.C. 9901, if you're interested. The purpose of CSBG is to provide assistance to states and local communities working through a network of community action agencies and other neighborhood-based organizations for the reduction of poverty, the revitalization of low-income communities, and the empowerment of low-income families and individuals in rural and urban areas to become fully self-sufficient. These goals are to be accomplished through the strengthening of community capabilities for planning and coordinating the use of a broad range of assistance related to the elimination of poverty, organization of a range of services related to the needs of low-income families and individuals, greater use of innovative and effective community-based approaches to attacking the causes and effects of poverty and of community breakdown, maximum participation of residents of the low-income communities and members of the groups served by programs assisted and broadening of the resource base of programs directed to the elimination of poverty. The map on your screen displays the geographical footprint of each of the nine community action agencies in Nebraska. Each community action agency has multiple locations within its service area. The cities identified on the left are the main administrative office for each uh, community action agency. The identified websites for each of the community action agencies also provides information regarding um, each of those community action services, programs, and locations. <clears throat> um, sorry. Nebraska Community Action Agencies conduct an in-depth community needs assessment at least once every three years. The community needs assessment provides a picture of the services and programs that are needed in their area. This includes identifying strengths, opportunities, and gaps in the community to address low-income issues, poverty, and individuals to achieve self-sufficiency. CSBG funding allows for a range of services and activities to assist the needs of low-income individuals. Community action agencies provide services and activities to address these needs in Nebraska. Agencies focus on holistic approaches to alleviating poverty. Much of their efforts are focused on in-depth case management for their clients. While each agency is diverse and offers a variety of services based on their community, several programs are similar, including Head Start, early Head Start and adult education programs, job training and direct employment of low-income individuals, housing services, child care, homeless shelter, and other homeless assistance and migrant services. Emergency assistance is also a key program area for CAAs. These services provide rental assistance, utility deposits, and payment of past due bills with a shutoff notice, food, transportation, alcohol and drug counseling, mental health services, food pantries, food banks, and the Commodity Foods Program. Agencies also collaborate with other state entities such as 
the Division of Public Health Women's Infants and Children, also known as WIC, Maternal Child Health and Immunization Programs, as well as the Nebraska Department of Environment and Energy's Low Income Weatherization Program. They work with local, local organizations to operate programs such as senior centers and other senior programs, including home delivered meals and transportation and youth mentoring projects. CSPG funds are federal funds distributed to the states and earmarked by federal law for distribution to eligible entities, which in Nebraska are all community action agencies. A formula based on each state's poverty population determines each state's grant amount. Nebraska received approximately $5.2 million in the federal fiscal year 2023. Each state determines the formula used to distribute the block grant to the network of designated eligible entities or the community action agencies, taking care that all areas are adequately served. Nebraska recognizes nine CAAs serving all 93 Nebraska counties. Per federal law, 90% of the funds are awarded to Nebraska's nine community action agencies. Nebraska uses a base plus formula to distribute this portion of the funds. States may utilize up to 5% of the funds for state administration of the grant. The remaining funds may be used for discretionary pur purposes, such as training and technical assistance for the agencies or other projects at the CAAs. Community Action of Nebraska, the state association, assists in providing training and technical assistance services to the CAAs in Nebraska. Nebraska State Association is Community Action of Nebraska, also known as CAN. CAN is a nonprofit statewide association that focuses on assisting the CAAs through the enhancement of program development, facilitating training and technical assistance, and leading advocacy efforts. CAN is part of a national network of nonprofit agencies that consists of over 1,000 community action agencies, all dedicated to helping people help themselves and each other. The community action agencies must administer CSPG through a tripartite board that participates in the development, planning, and evaluation of the programs at the agency. The board of each agency is comprised of no fewer than one-third low-income representatives, one-third elected officials or their representatives, and the remainder are private sector representatives who live in the agency's service area. The agencies are accountable for their plans, results, and efforts to adapt to the needs of the people they serve. CAAs implement a comprehensive performance-based management system called Results-Oriented Management and Accountability, known as ROMA. Through this system, the agencies establish objective and measurable goals, describe the organizational processes and capacity required to meet these goals, develop performance indicators to quantify the success of each intervention, evaluate their results versus anticipated outcomes, and improve their services and programs to better serve the families and communities in their respective service delivery areas. In order to maintain a strong culture of accountability, a network of nationally certified ROMA trainers in Nebraska provide continuing education to CAA staff and board members. The state is responsible for monitoring and providing oversight of the agencies to assure compliance with federal and state laws and to ensure organi organizational standards are met. The agencies, community action agencies, then report outcomes and activities annually by sending in an annual report to the Office of Community Services with the Administration for Children and Families, which usually occurs in March. In the federal fiscal year 20, 2022, CAAs in Nebraska provided services to more than 32,000 low-income individuals from 
uh, more than 19,000 families facing a variety of barriers to self-sufficiency. More than 13,000 of these were children and more than 8,000 were senior citizens. Um, the agencies continue to serve mostly families at or below 125% of the federal poverty level. And that's the, uh, thank you for allowing me to present information regarding a sample of what community action does in our state. If you are not familiar with the community action in your district, I invite you to visit those agencies and then I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. It looks like we don't have any questions quite yet, but um, I'm sure that there's some that people are typing out right now, hopefully. Um, but yeah, give it a couple more, uh, give it another minute or two if people want to ask questions. Again, you can use the chat feature, um, the Q&A feature, any of that. Uh, but yeah, um, and Jill, thanks for putting together this presentation. This is yeah. Hopefully those that didn't know much now know a little bit more. <laughs> we have just answered all of their questions along the way. I'm not seeing anything coming in yet. Okay, did get one comment there. It says that, you know, grants can seem so intimidating and this sounds very intricate, but thorough. And it says, thank you. So even, yeah, so if you want to put in comments as well, but I uh, we definitely appreciate those comments and those questions. Uh, thank you for that. Um, and then just as a reminder as well, uh, we have all of the, the past videos are available on the Nebraska Department of Labor's uh, website uh, through their YouTube channel, essentially. And so um, you can go directly to YouTube um, uh, and look up Nebraska Department of Labor, or you can click through through the NDOL website on the little YouTube link there. But all of the previous editions are, are available. Um, lots of great programming that we've we've talked about. And again, next month we'll do the same. So um, same time, same place. Uh, come join us again to learn about uh, some additional programs here in the state of Nebraska related to workforce development. So with that, uh, I'll say thank you again to Jill. Thank you to everybody for attending and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.